Hi everyone and welcome back. I am Deathwing and you are all watching a rookie survivalist surviving in space in Space Engineers. Yes, nailed it. Mm, potty time. Yeah. So let's get out and show you guys what I was up to this week in Twitch first through the airlock. Mm. Soon we won't be using this anymore because the asteroid base is basically done. I just want to mm, get this back so I can actually see what we're doing. Nine. Yes, yes, finally figured out how that thing works again. Now, let's go off to the base. So... Yeah, Rage, I get what you're saying about you don't like the rust on this. I do kind of agree. But I'm not going to change it. We're just going to fly around this bit and enter from the small ship gate. Ooh, brakes, 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 brakes. Um, now, as you can see... I did add a couple of stuff already from the last episode. You can see it through the windows. And all these gates are working. All on sensors. So as we approach, it will open up. Open up. Thank you. Lights off. Change the view. Now well, let's go. Why does that seem a bit very close to there? It was. Around the pillar, let's go to the top. I've added a waiting area and a disembarking area thing where you can dock. Well, not dock, just bark over here. You can get out, walk about, do your stuff, come back, take your vessel and leave. And I've added a small docking area for raw material goods. This is where all the drill ships will be parked. So they can come in, offload their materials and go again. Where is the rear view on this? Let's bring this in. Part. Ooh, a bit of a rough one. Parked. Charge off. And lights are off. Yes, I believe so. Mm, hydrogen still running. Hydrogen off. Uh, switch that on. And it's filling up. Awesome. Everything's good. Everything's lacquered. Now, I've added a bit of color over here, so you know not to walk there, because there might be tool heads and stuff. And the dock is made so that you can work on your ship and get in almost everywhere. Uh, that's good. And this is just a service corridor to the back area. And over here we've got a big maintenance door for the drones to get in and out the door is not activated by humans walking there we can only do it with a button that opens that up to the back but the drone will also be able to open it let's just go game menu remote control access no, we don't have control of the drone Let's do this the manual way quickly. Here we go. Go here. C control block. This is the one we want. Control it. Three. Uh, thrusters on. That on. And bulk off. Lights on. And as we approach the door, it should open. Yes. And now the drone can go in, do its job, and the doors will close behind it. 
I've added some modules to the back of the refineries, yield and speed, because power is not an issue. And I've added some liquid storage as well. Hydrogen and a bit of oxygen. We still need to fill these up all the way. I still haven't managed to get all of them full and resources for everything. Busy building the whole time. Getting this back into its parking bay. Uh, third camera, F. Nine, nine, nine. Um, put the batteries back on on this. Put those on. Disengage that, put the lights off, engage, and put those off. Cool, we're free of it. And that is how everything at the back works. Like I say, we've got a button. The button's good. I like the buttons. Especially these buttons. I do like them a lot. And I'm building a little ridge here so you can't actually just walk off into the abyss. Now. Let's get to the inside of the base, the lacquer part. All the doors are now automa automatic, and the air locks, you just need to wait for the pressure to drop before you can go through. Let's have a start on the very far side of the base. Just a quick run, and then we're there. Almost. Like I said, quick. Not that quick, but quick enough. Here we are. This button opens the door, and I no, we just lost all the oxygen in here. It's not sealed up. Let's seal it back up. That was not a very smart move from my part. The oxygen in the hallway should start filling up again soon-ish. This door, as well as ma manual, because it leads to the outside. No, inside a lock for that. The, um, the doors for the manufacturing are also automatic. Everything's automatic now. And I've added some LCD screens so that we can see where we're going. This is manufacturing. Open it up. Mm, that sensor still needs to be switched. We get in here. All automatic. Just want to go switch this sensor off there so we don't see it looks very nicely this is processing also airlock still doors all automatic and I think I just dumped all the oxygen we had yep I might have that was not very smart on my part and we've got life support through this door. This is where the O2 systems and H2 systems are running. No, we're empty. We don't have any ice. Then the reactor room's doors is not automatic. Because you're not going to be going in there the whole time. And it's not for everyone to go into. Yeah, only certain personnel may. And here as well, we've got this general bridge area overlooking that. And some crafts and blueprints running. With a button on the stairs to open up this door. Ooh, oxygen's filling in. This room had oxygen. There's not a lot of it. And the button on this side still works the door as well. We've got a store that's not currently hooked up to anything, the same as with this, no offers on it. Uh, we've got drafts, blueprints running, and a little lounge area. A uh, cafeteria with an ATM, and the menu isn't available yet. With some, um, what do you call it, ads running. And some more logos on the big screen more lounging areas the 
door back there is still sealed off it's not complete yet that will be the main control area we've got contracts over here another board mm, well LCD vending machine behind the stairs and some more seats for the cafeteria area and more seats up here with tables lounge areas screens doing their own stuffs still blueprints running and a like a lounge area at the back that is everything I have been up to mm, well almost one more part is the outside airlock this part going out going here down there's nothing in all of these they're all empty and then you've got your outside seated area where you can wait for your ship to come in and some different styled containers with some machinery and also just an access panel to this at the back or an access point like I said guys that's everything for this episode I want to thank all of you for tuning in it has been great seeing you if you like this video give me a thumbs up at the bottom and you please subscribe and hit that notification bell right next to it so you can get notified of any trickery I get up to and follow me on Twitch over on yeah Twitch will be on that side but the main logo and this is me Deathwing saying cheers ciao and tot scenes time for the happy dance